Yeah. Hey guys, it's Friday. It's still the Christmas shopping. So we're gonna go see what we can find for under $30. Don't know where we're gonna end up at. We shall see. I'll let you all know what I found for under $30. So, all right guys, see you later. Bye-bye. See you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Happy holidays, yes. As you guys noticed, we just came back from thrifting. If you're new here, my name is Jackie. Welcome, AKA Fabulous Jack. If you're my favorite person, welcome, love you. Welcome back. So guys, today vi today's video was supposed to be Christmas gifts for under $30, right? But honestly, I went, I went to H&M, I got a few items, but it wasn't enough for the haul, so I figured maybe I can push that back on Sunday. So, 
being that I went to H&M and I went to Super Thrift, I decided I should just show you guys. You, as you see in my little video, your girl went, went thrifting. I'm sorry, it's Xmas thrifting. Yes, you know, I keep saying that if we miss the thrift stores, we're gonna miss some good items which we kind of did. So I went to this thrift store today to Super Thrift. They had all these goodies. But for some reason, their prices have, it's not for some reason, I know why, it's the holidays. The prices are high. I found this beautiful Louis Vuitton bag. The, um, the multicolor one, but in the uh, Tootsie Row, I was gonna get it, but they had marked it to $89, but it had pills and some tea and a little bit of tear on the handle. I put it in my basket, but then I walked around with it. I was like, yeah, not really. I'm not spending $90 and then have to go repair it. I know it costs a lot of money. I don't know. I don't even know if it was authentic because I was looking for the day code and I couldn't find it. So I left it behind. But she told me it was authentic, the, the nice lady behind the counter. But anyway, if it's there next time, I will snag it. I'm waiting for them to mark it down some more. Because that's what they do. They're going to mark it down. Because the people that go to Super Thrift are not going to drop $80, $90. Uh, that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for baggins like your girl over here. All right. So, what I found... From this super thrift is all oh, this good is right here. So let's start with the clothing. Mostly men's. I don't think I found anything in ladies. Oh, if I did, I wasn't interested. So I found this beautiful pinstripe. You guys are tired of seeing my men's blazers, but I'm gonna keep showing you this only because it's worth every penny. This is Southwark from Barney's. Barney's New York, if you're familiar with Barney's, if you watched Sex in the City yesterday, just like that, it came out yesterday. Remember the guy at the podcast said he didn't know what, what Barney's was and um, Sarah Jessica Parker said, that hurts my heart because, I mean, how could you not know Barney's? Who doesn't know Barney's, even though they're no longer? There we go, Barney's New York. Upscale store, I used to work there, worked in the men's department for a little bit. So yeah, this beautiful Barney's jacket, which if it was a Barney's, I would have probably paid $1,500 because it's Southwark and I paid $3, you know. 99 cents. I'm, I mean, if you have a guy in your life or your husband, your boyfriend, your baby daddy, you can literally buy them this beautiful, beautiful pink stripe two button jacket for four dollars. Okay, yeah, I showed you guys how I styled that. The next jacket was by <laughs> this beautiful checkered Burberry jacket. You guys see that? You guys remember I had found a Burberry jacket before? I think this is my third Burberry jacket I've thrifted. Burberry jacket, plaidish as it should be. I think I have one like this, the same plaid. But this one is in better condition than the other one I have. And I paid $3.99. It was $6.99 and then they marked it down to $3.99. I know you guys probably wanna see Christmas gifts, but not thrifting, but hey, some of these jackets can be used as gifts and we only spend $4 for a jacket that will cost you good old $4,000 or $2,000. We paid four dollars, so got two flaps. Yeah, nice. I know I'm not. I'm not moving, guys. I'm just like show. It. Look at the shoulder. It fits me perfectly. So 
Yep. Burberry. For four dollars. I love thrifting. All these other items, you know, I can't wait for Christmas to be over because I'm so over going to department stores or or other stores looking for gifts. I just want to thrift. Thrifting makes me happy. Yes, it does. All right. The next men's blazer. I think I bought four. All luxury. Nothing that was in luxury. This um, hairy bone. Beautiful hairy bone. Givenchy. Do you see that? Givenchy. Men's blazer. Love it. This is like some kind of gray. I have a Zara jacket that is the same hairy bone as this Givenchy jacket. But this is luxury, baby. This is three button. And I paid $3.99. Guys, I always go to the men's department last at this particular um, Super Trip only because I know I'm going to find stuff so there's no rush for me to go there. Because for some reason, that particular department, people don't go there at all. They're all in the women's and in um in the men's um sports, you know, sp what should I care? Yeah, not sport coat. Like just like regular schmurgy golf shirts. That's where the guys are. They're not checking for blazers. When your girl comes through, and I'm like, listen, I'm so glad you guys are not checking for blazer because I found this beautiful hairy bone Givenchy for four dollars yes three button guys three button so I'm not selling this this is going in Jackie's closet unfortunately I said it wasn't gonna be about her uh, it wasn't gonna be about me but <laughs> today I lost my cool I'm like whatever today I'm gonna shop for myself so Jacket number three. I hope you guys don't be like, okay, this is not what we plan on seeing, but this is an impromptu video. So, the next one is this beautiful fit, slim fit. I mean, look at the fabric on here. It's like some kind of suede, but had like little checkered on it. There is the brand was cut off. This feels like something really, really good. So I don't know who makes it. You can see where the brand, where the, the brand was taken off. And all it says is slim fit right there. And then it has, wait, I might be able to find out through the, through the tag. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see here. No. Doesn't give me the brand on the tag. I thought I was. Wait, all I saw is some European. Oh, they, they scratched that too. The tag was, the brand was right here, but as you can see, it was scratched off. That's so sucky. It's like, who makes this beautiful jacket? But anyway, I picked it up because it feels. I'm going to investigate this some more. I'm going to have to find out who made this beautiful, beautiful jacket. It has this little thing right there on the side. For a minute there, I thought it was Zara, but then it's not, it's not a Zara tag on the outside. But this is a, a high-end luxury brand because, baby, it's so heavy. Do you guys see that? Once more, your girl paid $3.99. This is so cute. Now this fits like a women's blazer, even though it's men's, because it did say slim fit. Yeah, I'm not moving guys. So yeah, look at that. Do you guys see that? Do you see all this beauty right there? Look at that. Beautiful. The shoulders are good. Shoulders are really, really good. 
the back is perfect right there it says slim feet they made it look at that beautiful four dollars i'm gonna do a whole lot of research as to who made this jacket because now i'm intrigued the fact that they came out here and took this tag off i think whoever donated it is the person that did that because or the company the store they didn't want you to know they scratched it off with with ink i'm gonna i'm gonna look at it some more and see anyway so those are my four men's blazers that i found yes next uh, things i found was some shoes oh no this i found one women's blazer sorry guys i found this um blazer by 14th and union it was just hanging there when i was trying stuff in the mirror and i was like what is that it's giving me the look it's just so i picked it up i was like okay it feels mighty heavy it has texture to it it got pockets it was <laughs> it was 6.99 so i'm like so we left this here because this was close to the um the mirror where people try on stuff and then you just leave whatever you don't want you leave it behind yeah beautiful i should move this some more so you guys get to see so let's move this i hope my light don't act up because once you move this thing my ring light is very shaky okay so stay all right not that i did anything <laughs> nothing nothing different but hey it's nice better than what it was and I have all this sitting on the Givenchy jacket. And which other one is this? I was sitting on something. I was sitting on the Givenchy and the bodies. Anywho, so yeah. Nice for six. Beautiful. For six ninety-nine. Love it. So yeah. That was the last minute stuff I picked out. All right, next items I found for shoes. So let's get to it. I got these beautiful shoes from Saks Fifth Avenue. It's their brand. Maybe I thrifted it, but it's a Saks Fifth Avenue brand. And it still has a suggested retail price on here, which I need to see because where's my glasses? Oh, I think I took my glasses downstairs. But anyway, beautiful shoes by Saks Fifth Avenue, guys. Do you see that sexy suede number? They suggest their retail price on here is like, I believe, $220 or 120 You can see that. It's never been worn. So, but I paid good old <laughs> $3.99. These shoes are so sexy. I should at least try it on, but I don't know. Let's see. Let me at least put one foot. Let me put one foot on. Let's take out my Zara combat boots. Yeah. Let's try this Saks Fifth Avenue number for $3. This is too cute. See? Instead of me running around buying gifts, I'm here shopping for myself outside i we but we did say you gotta treat yourself because if you don't treat yourself you ain't gonna treat nobody else so i buy one for you and i buy one for myself that's that that's my mantra and if you don't know about this channel we're all about bougie on a budget over here so yes there goes the sacks 
Saks Fifth Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. How sexy. I think it was either 120 their price, or my, my rug. So, oh, it's 220 But look at how cute this is. And I paid. Four dollars, guys. So, tell me why I shouldn't go thrifting. I mean, I want to go to H and M. I want to go to Ross. I want to go to Zara. But then the thrifting bug is like in my ear. Like, forget all those places and <laughs> go thrifting. <laughs> I'm so beautiful. But anyway. The next two pair of shoes, I found this pair of shoe. This, when I first walked in, I saw it hanging because this is how they hang their shoes. And I was like, excuse me, so I don't have a heart attack. Am I seeing a Louboutin? Is it a Louboutin? Am I seeing my Louboutins over there? I mean, it looked exactly like a Louboutin. Okay, it does. But then I turned it around and it was Ki Kimia. Who the hell is that? It's made in China. But look at the red bottom. This is a good dupe of a Louboutin. Yes, guys. You know, let me compare the redness of my Louboutins and this one and see if, if it's about the same. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Okay. All right. So there is the difference, guys. My little buttons are a little bit narrow, but the the color is the same. These are my. Lubis, my real one. This is a dupe. It doesn't say Louboutin on there, so don't come for me. It has its own brand, so it's a dupe. But look at that. Look at that. These are my real ones that I've had for years. And then I picked these cute numbers for, how much did I pay for these things? For $14. $14.99. I think they just got them because they had not marked them down. So I figured, you know what? It's an ombre color. It's like some kind of blue and and brown. Got a brown here, you got a blue. So when you walk, it still gives you the same effect like the red bottoms. Yeah? Cute. So I got that. There was another pair, it was only two, and I wasn't gonna leave it behind. <laughs> this is the burgundy. This is a solid color. There is no ombre on this one. Just plain maroon is what I would call it. And this one has its ombre, and this is just plain maroon. So whoever had this worn maybe like one time, two times, and I love the skinny of the heel. Beautiful. So, yeah. Look at that, guys. Beauty. This is the burgundy one. It just kind of made a little squeaky noise because it's a size nine, and I wear a size eight or eight and a half. And this is a nine. But fourteen dollars, I was still gonna take it. I mean. Compared to my real ones. Look at that. Ha! Good dupe. Yes, and this too was $14.99. I wish they had a black one. I walked around, I walked around the whole store trying to find a black. I'm like, okay, if they have these two colors, there should be a black hiding around somewhere. But no, I think I only got this love this ombre one i really love this 
because I have a I have a skirt by um oh what happened to my lights not again this lights oh man hold on guys hold on okay guys my light sorry about that my light is just acting up all right so the next item i found over there we're gonna rush through this is this beautiful crossbody coach bag see why it says coach right there can you see that this is like a, i think a vintage coach it has this outside pocket i love the head oh you open it by flipping it over for the outside pocket oh i love this little thing it's good for a rainy day that's how you close it you've got this beautiful hardware the inside is nice maybe a little tlc a little cleaning you got your crate right there yeah needs a little cleaning guys gotta clean it with some lysol i hope i don't take away the color nice love this heavy hat hardware it's giving me so yeah this was only 18.99 and this is this wasn't even behind the register where they put all their expensive bag this was in the massive where all their other bags are so nice i'm liking this little coach i mean i'm just like finding all these coach bags lately it's like what's happening what's going on so let me put my wallet on the chain in here and see how it looks yes guys 18 18.99 for this beautiful vintage coach it says coach right here you open it outside where you can put your phone right there and then you close it by that part and you put the snap nobody would know you're wearing a coach but you this to me was the best buy. I just love patent leather. There's something about patent leather in the fall that gives you richness. And this particular patent leather, see, I throw all my stuff on the floor. You guys can see it right there in the corner. <laughs> but anywho, yes, it gives you a little richness. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, super thrift okay, in California. Find you a super thrift, but you have to have patience. It's not like a goodwill. It's um, it's a little bit. I should call it eclectic. All kinds of people, and you just have to have patience because kids are crying, and if you don't have any patience, you'll be like, okay, I'm out of here. So yeah. All right, so that's all I found. But I wanted to show you guys, you guys remember, I told you guys about a Kelly bag I found at another um, cancel thrift. That was, it's like a straw. It's like a Kelly dupe. But this is Bloomingdale's. It has a Bloomingdale's. It's so vintage looking. I think this is way back when. See where it says, see where it says Bloomingdale's right there? Do you see that? Bloomingdale's. It's like a straw summer Kelly look alike. This was made for Bloomingdale's guys. So I got this for $25, even though the tag was 30. Cancel three. The tag was 32. But I asked the young lady, I'm like, it has a little scratch right here. What can be done? They say closed mouth don't get fed. So I had to ask. So she said, oh, you know what? Let me go ask my manager and I'll come back and tell you. So she took the bag and I'm busy doing my shopping. And she comes back and says, oh, the manager says we'll give it to you for $25. I'm like sold. Sold to the lady in black. Yes. I love this. But this is more of a, more of a spring vibe. So I try to put my wallet on the chain in there. And you can cinch it it gives you all that you can make it bigger you know how you carry your kelly bag half of the time we don't even close it so we can just carry it like this as much as i have my other kelly bags 
this is Bloomingdale's worthy so this was made for Bloomingdale's look at the detailing it looks like um, lizard skin on the top lizard skin right here and then we have like a canvas it's not a straw my bad canvas right there and the hardware is a little bit washed out so whoever had this bag loved it it was definitely pre-loved to shits because or either that is just vintage but even the Bloomingdale um, stamp look very old and vintagey look, look where it says Bloomingdale's right there I don't think they do them like that anymore so yeah so yeah $25 I'm going to show you guys and this has feet as compared to the Birkin dupe they do not have feet so I love this nice canvasy so yes guys that's it for my haul it was <laughs> I had to take a different route did not plan on thrifting I just thought I was gonna go to H&M I was gonna either stop at um, Ross because I was gonna go to Northridge Mall if you're familiar with with Northridge area I was gonna go to the mall over there and um, I was this H&M right there at the front and then I was gonna run into Ross and see if they had some beautiful um, maybe throws or or house shoes because my son needs a pair of house shoes that's exactly why i was going to go to ross i was going to see if my i can get a house shoes for my son but i think i would get it from Burlington because i saw him there but i wanted to compare price you guys know i'm cheap so anyway that's my day it's friday but i think you guys will only see this video tomorrow saturday so i'm wearing this man's button down shirt and that I thrifted and this nice sweater by the little vest I think this is by Alfani Macy's brand and my little fashion earring balls this is I decided I'm gonna start pulling out all my old jewelry my necklace another fashion don't remember bracelet I sold this at my boutique and see I'm missing like a little thing right there but it's one of those scrunchy things so yeah I've had for years and my leggings so I buy DK and Y it, it has the little um, leather trim right here in the front or uh, on the side look like motorcycle my shoes are by Zara I think I got the Zara boots last last year or was it this year I don't remember but this is this is Zara you see right there with all the pearls and the chunky boots love that so think cost me probably I think this cost me like $29 you guys know how cheap your girl is so yeah that's how I was shopping today I was shopping with my Bagley Mishka wallet on the chain because I needed my hands to be free so this was how I was shopping even though I had my Christian Dior, um, my Christian Dior trench coat, because I thought it was gonna rain today in Southern California, but it was a little cold, so I brought the trench coat even though I didn't get to use it that much. But this is how you girl shopped. Then I have my tree bag in the car because this has everything I need. This wallet on the chain doesn't have. I got my mask. Yeah, it got my receipt pouch and got my makeup case and um, a whole bunch of other things I might need because when I go into the store I mean look at that a whole lot of stuff when I go into the store the only thing I need is my credit card and my phone so this is what's in here this wallet and this one credit card right there my capital one and that's so yeah then my phone if I'm not vlogging I just put it in here nice gifty item I showed you guys this 
I love this little thing. So cute. But anyway, guys, so that's the end of this thrift mass. I hope you like everything I got to show you. I promise you the next video is going to be about gifts. <laughs> no more shopping for Jackie. Gifts. It's not about Jackie. It's not. So, well, this is not about me, people. But I did stray, and I confess, I'm a shopaholic. I don't know what to tell you. I just... Even my husband goes like, I thought we were supposed to be going to the mall. I was like, yeah, but I feel like I need to go to Super Thrift and find something. And he goes like, well, whatever you find there is not a gift. I was like, you don't know that. I just might find some good stuff, you know? But anyway, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Comment, share. Good comments only, guys. Good comments only. This beautiful. I want to show you guys. To me, this is my best buy. Beautiful, beautiful. This particular shoe. And this coach bag. This is my thumbnail. I think I'll use this as a thumbnail. Yeah? Oh, just. Beautiful. But anyway, don't you guys just love this bag? I so much love this bag. Yeah, these are my two favorite things I got today. Oh no, my Burberry jacket too. Those are all cool. But anyway, I ramble. Happy holidays, guys. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas and happy everything. Wish you guys good health. Give me a thumbs up if you like this Thrift Mice video. If you don't, it's okay too. It's all about human kindness. Bye-bye. That's all I got for you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.